Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, we get started on 24 hour temperature cast today. A lot like yesterday, the numbers are going to hold steady early. Then after 8 o'clock, they'll climb quickly. I think they'll be up over 90 by noontime. And we're likely going to see daytime highs mid 90s and up and for several hours unless we can find some scattered showers that likely are going to be kind of few and far between today and then tomorrow morning we're going to start in the mid 70s again. Now I don't see a lot going on around here just yet on the satellite radar composite picture, but I do see a few clouds to the south and I see some more moisture way down towards southeastern Florida that's trying to move this way and it should start to get a little bit more successful as we get to tomorrow and the weekend and with that will start to maybe enhance our chances for some of those afternoon showers. It's 75 right now in Tallahassee and in Valdosta. It's 72 in Thomasville. It's warm. It's muggy out there. Got dew points right at 72. Got humidity values up over 90%. So another day with the glasses fog up, another icky sticky feel, area can wear kind of setup. And pretty much all the temperatures in that like 72 to 75 range, except for Blakely, Georgia, where it's just 70. But we're talking pretty warm and pretty steady across the board. I don't see a lot of wind out there today. If there is a breeze, It'll have more of a northeast or an east fetch to it. And so far, so good with the visibility. It's all pretty much better than five or seven miles. So I don't even think we're talking about a lot of fog out there. The next couple of mornings, as we increase the humidity a bit more, we'll probably find a little more patchy fog. That moisture coming over from the Bahamas, that is tropical in nature. It doesn't have to be an organized or classified tropical system to up our rain chances. So as that moisture comes this way, I do think it's going to give us a little extra to work with to get some more showers going in the afternoons when the sea breezes fire up. But we got to let this bubble of high pressure fizzle out first, and that probably takes one more day. So today, hot, humid. I hope we get some showers, but I think it's going to be a lot like yesterday where there'll be pretty few and far between. That bubble of high pressure does break down after today, and that means tomorrow and Saturday. Let's ratchet up those rain chances a bit when the afternoon sea breezes get going. Much better chances for more showers, and that likely means the temperatures won't get so high in the first place after today, and they certainly won't stay there for as long as they will after today. But as we watch here in the future cast, I don't see a whole lot of showers, and I think they're going to wait until after 4, 5, 6 o'clock to get going. So a lot of us are going to get a lot of hot and a lot of humid today. Now, the tropics, interesting, not super active, at least not yet. We're still watching this energy off near the Bahamas. That's just going to throw some moisture our way. There's more energy all the way across the Atlantic that over the next week or so, as it works its way back towards the United States, could start to develop. Got about a 40% chance with that. So some things we're keeping our eyes on, but nothing we need to be concerned with. On the Gulf today, it's going to be hot and it's going to be humid, but pretty good for the boaters. Again, those winds are staying pretty light, less than 12 knots and the seas less than two feet. I say this morning it goes from hazy sunshine in 70s to hot, humid, middle and upper 90s. Now we'll put the rain chances for this afternoon around 40%. So there's a decent shot. But it's certainly not going to be an everybody gets wet kind of thing, and that means a lot of us are going to get hot and stay hot for lots of hours. Another long duration hot one today. Tonight into tomorrow, those showers will fizzle out once the sun sets. That sunset time, by the way, around 835. And here's the seven day forecast. I think today, probably the hottest one of the next few, but the next three or four really humid. So it's going to feel awfully hot out there, especially in the afternoons. Unless we start to get those showers, the shower chances do get higher tomorrow and Saturday.